Hello learners, hope you all are doing good. Today in this video, we are going to talk about solution of Oracle AI Vector Search Professional Part 2. So we already covered 12 questions. Now in this in this uh, video, we are going to uh, cover around 18 questions. So these questions are very important and most of the questions will be out of these questions only. So as discussed in the last two videos, uh, we have shown you the process of how to register with Oracle AI Vector Search Professional and uh, after that um, you can uh, complete 8 hour course and then give this exam. You can see my videos for the solutions, uh, what type of questions they are asking, everything uh, I have um, covered in detail. So this is my YouTube channel Learning Plant. Uh, please subscribe and like and share it with your friends so videos on generative ai cloud infrastructures uh, still they are relevant you can check out the videos and playlist of our youtube channel and then you can continue to learn so this was the first video where we discussed about around 12 questions now in this video we are targeting to discuss around 18 questions okay so let's start uh, the solution of Oracle AI Vector Search Professional Part 2. So first question is, how is the security interaction between autonomous de database and OCI generative AI managed in the context of select AI? So there are four options and out of these four options, I found that uh, Second option, by utilizing resource principles which grant the autonomous database instance access to OCI generative AI without exposing the sensitive credentials. This looks more permanent and correct, so I will go with this answer. So let me highlight this. This is the answer. And uh, basically, select AI and OC generative AI uh has been designed to help uh, uh you keep uh, and your data safe data never leaves oracle cloud and it is not shared with ai providers that's why i think uh, without exposing your sensitive credentials uh, looks the correct answer now let's move to another questions what is the uh, uh, you, you are storing 1000 embeddings in a vector column each with 256 dimensions using float 32, what is the approximate size of data on disk? So this question is very easy. You can uh, easily uh, need to calculate. So how to calculate this? So for calculating this, you need to uh, calculate it like uh, the size of So size can be calculated as so basically this is the formula number of uh, vectors into number of dimension into size of each dimension dimension time so how to calculate so number of vectors how many we have so we have around thousand embeddings right so thousand into how many uh, number of dimensions so we have 256 so 256 into uh, then you have uh, four bytes, right? So floor 32 is basically four bytes. So you need to type it as four bytes. You can write like floor 32. That means you need to uh, multiply thousand into 256 into four. That is equivalent to one zero two four triple zero, right? Uh, bytes which is equivalent to your 1 MB, right? So uh, th this will be your correct answer, 1 MB. 
let me know if it's uh, do you have any uh, problem understanding this solution okay so basically for calculation you need to do number of vectors into number of dimensions then size of each dimension and then you need to get the size so here i am getting 1 mb so i think correct answer is uh, 1 mb now second question uh, the 15th question is which oracle cloud uh, infrastructure service is directly integrated with select ai so um, uh, i think oci generative ai is directly integrated with uh, uh, select ai so oci generative ai is directly integrated with select ai providing tools for creating and managing models uh, which can be leveraged for various application including generative tasks such as uh, nlp natural language processing image generation and more so i think uh, for 15th it's a second uh, option generative ai which is uh, correct next question let's move to next question which is not a feature capability related to ai and vector search in exa data so if you remember uh, we talked about exa data in uh, oracle cloud uh, certification so um, for exa data i think uh, native support for vector search only within the data server so this is the correct option and um, exa data uh, ai and vector search capabilities extend beyond just the dataverse server including the integration with other tools and platform for efficient vector based uh, searches not limited to only the database servers the um, other options listed are valid features or capabilities related to ai and vector search in exa data so correct answer is first one uh, which is native support for vector search only within the data based server okay because here they are asking about which is not okay so other three are correct this is the wrong one so we need to mark this one which statement best describe the uh, uh, the core functionality and benefit of rag in oracle database 23 ai so basically see uh, uh, I, I think uh, the first option itself is correct but uh, uh, but i think uh, rag basically enhances llm models by allowing them to retrieve a specific data from private structured data sources uh, like those in oracle database to provide more accurate and context driven responses improving the precision and the relevance on answer so that's why i think it empowers llm to interact with private data uh, enterprise data stored within the database leading to more context over price precise uh, response to user queries so this this option looks more uh, correct uh, if a query vector uses different instance um, distance matrix than one used to create the index what happens so basically uh, if the distance matrix used in a query differs from the one specified during the index creation the system performs an exact match instead of using the vector index so out of four the exact match option is a uh, second one so this is the correct option okay now uh, what are the key advantage and consideration of using retrieval argument generation in the context of oracle ai vector search so same thing uh, we discuss right uh, in the above questions uh, right that it's um, um, more uh, uh, security related thing so it uh, leverages existing database security access control uh, thereby enabling security and uh, control access to both the database contents and the llms so i think four option is correct for this question next which python library used to vectorize text chunks and the user question in the flowing example so basically this is a script you can pause the video and check and for this i think the correct answer is sentence transformers okay let me know if you need any explanation for this question i can uh, pass uh, the solution in the uh, comment section what is the function of the cosine parameter in the sql query used to retrieve similar vectors top k equals to 3 sql if 
select payload vector distance this as a score from table name order by a score fetch approximate something so basically uh, in the context of vector similarity searches for sign similarity is a popular matrix used to measure how similar two vectors are the cosine parameter in the query indicates that the cosine similarity uh, will be used to evaluate the distance or similarity between vectors this helps retrieve the most similar vectors to given query vector based on their angle regardless of their magnitude so we need to found something uh, which is uh, uh, not dependent on the magnitude and it should indicate the cosine distance matrix should be used to measure similarity between the vectors so out of these four i have found that the three the more uh, accurate or correct you can say so this is the answer you are asked to find closest matching uh, ma matching sentence across books where you where each book has multiple paragraphs and sentences which sql structure should you use so uh, basically this question belongs from performing similarity search so the correct answer i feel is fetch partition by close so the fetch partition by close allows grouping by hierarchical levels example books and paragraphs while retrieving the top key matches so i think for this question the correct answer is fetch part partition okay now in the next question in the flowing python uh, in, in in the following python code what is the significance of uh prepending uh the source file name each text chunks before storing in the de uh, vector database so uh, for this basically uh, you need to um uh, stop the video and read these file names but uh, currently i will go for the uh, solution so basically it preserves context and aids in the retrieval process by association each vector chunks with its original source file so this is the correct uh, it basically pigs off so this is the correct answer next question how does an application use vector similarity uh, search to retrieve relevant information from a database how is the information then integrated into the generation process so basically it encodes the questions and data chunks into vectors find the most similar using cosine similarity and includes them in llm program so correct option is the first one only so i can directly mark it when using sql uh, bloater to load vector data from search application what is the critical consideration regarding the formatting of the vector data within input csv file enclose vector components in a curly braces no as f b e c is a binary format the vector dimension have known bit fixed offset can be used to make precising the vector fast and efficient looks correct use a sparse format for vector data no rely on sql loaders automatic normalization vector i think no so the correct option is second one only so this looks more appropriate and correct so i will go with the second option which function is used to generate vector uh, embeddings within an oracle database database vector chunk util to chunks no chunk util to text no so uh, here it's asking about embeddings right so if you see on the embedding thing so we have only one option this option so i think this is the correct option so i will go with this dbms vector chunk uh, util dot uh, this one so basically this dbms vector ch uh, chunk util to embedding function is specifically designed for generating vector embedding from text data either by using the preloaded Uh, on x model within the database or by making call to external embedding providers so i think the uh, third option is correct and we will go we will go with the third option now move to the next question which statement best describe the capability of oracle data pump for handling vector data in the context of vector search application so we need to find some answer in context of vector search application so first option data pump only export and import vector data if the vector embeddings are stored as below data type in the database no data pump treats vector embedding as regular text strings which can load uh, lead to data corruption or loss of 
precision when transferring vector data for vector search? No, this looks wrong. Data pump provides native support for exporting and importing tables containing vector data types, facilitating the transfer of vector data for vector search application. This looks more appropriate. Let's go for fourth option also. Because of the complexity of vector data, data pump requires a specialized plug in to handle the export and import operation involving vector data types. No. So out of these four, I think the most appropriate answer is uh, third one. So I will go with the third one. What happens when you attempt to insert um, a vector with with an incorrect number of dimension into a vector column with a defined number of dimension? So in that case, um, uh, what will happen? So basically, when uh, working with vector columns in a Oracle database 23C, the data force enforces a strict validation to ensure that the number of elements in a vector database matches the defined number of dimension for the column. If the vector being inserted has more or few elements than the column specified uh, dimension, the operation fails and an error message will generate. So according to this concept, we need to check where operation get fails. So we have uh, four options. A uh, first option is the database truncate the vectors. No, the database pad the vector with zero matches defined. No, the in, the insert operation fails. So this is more appropriate as I uh, was explaining uh, when uh, we are working with uh, vector columns in Oracle 23 23C database. The database enforces a strict validation to ensure that the number of the element in a vector matches the defined number of dimension for the column. If the vector being inserted has more or few elements than the column specified dimensionality, the operation fails and the error message is generated. So with this concept, the third option looks correct and I will go with the third option. Next question in Oracle database or 23AI, which data type is used to store vector embedding for similarity search? So similar question we already uh, discussed in the last video. So option third vector. Okay. So this, this is correct. Now the last question for today uh, is uh, uh, what is created to uh, facilitate the use of OCI generative AI with autonomous database. So an AI profile specifically for OCI generative AI is created to enable the integration with autonomous database. This profile configures the necessary settings and connection for using the generative AI services. So we need to see uh, which one is the correct answer. So an AI profile for OCI generative AI uh, created and dedicated OCI documented a new user with relevant relevant uh, privileges. So no, as I, I was uh, telling, um, an AI profile for OCI generative is uh, created. So basically when we are working with uh, uh, this autonomous database, uh, one AI profile specifically for OCI generative AI is created to enable the integration between uh, autonomous data and basically this profile configures the necessary settings and connection for using the generative AI service. So we discussed around uh, 18 questions in this video. So let me know uh, if you have any doubt on any question if you feel uh, I have provided some wrong solution for a specific solution uh, for a specific question. You can drop your comment, uh, I provide your explanations so I can take a note and correct it. And uh, I, I have already discussed how to uh, how to enroll in the exam or Oracle AI Vector Search Professional. So you can see my videos uh, here. So this, this was the uh, registration video where I have discussed everything. This was the first video which we created with 12 questions and discuss the solution. If you have any doubt, please uh, drop a comment. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, please uh, like, share and subscribe. Uh, it will be very helpful if you subscribe. Thank you everyone and uh, good luck for your exams. Uh, please learn uh, and then you can go through our solution video. It will help you to pass the exam.